Hi y'all, it's Ashley and in today's vlog we are doing something different. Nothing too different, but I'm working on these paintings and I actually, at the end of the video, I totally scrapped them because I'm a perfectionist and I felt like I could do better. And so, and plus, when you start painting something with oil paint, it's kind of hard to fix it if you make a, if you made a mistake, you'll have to let it dry. And I just, I just felt like I needed to redo it. And so I felt like it was important to keep the video because I already filmed it. And, um, you know, it's something we need to talk about more. You know, artists, we, we get so in our head about things and, you know, if they don't turn out good, it's okay. We can totally paint over it and continue. Or sometimes you can just keep going. And I probably should have kept going, but I just, I felt like I needed to scrap it. I felt like I needed to fix it in some way, because as you can see here, I don't really have much, I don't have much going on for guidance in the painting. It's kind of, I have a little markings here and there, but nothing too, nothing too underpainting. Well, I'm working on the underpainting now. But what I mean is I'm usually more organized when it comes to my paintings. I don't just do a little line here and there and then, you know, start the underpainting. And I feel like I should have been more intentional about it. And, you know, it's all about learning. And you learn through every painting that you do. And so I think it is okay that I scrap this towards the end. Um... So anyways, I'm just doing the underpainting here. And um, I do wanna mention that later on in the video, I am gonna talk about a subject that I probably have mentioned once or twice if you've seen all my videos um, about painting for yourself and more of just painting, painting for, yeah, painting for yourself. Sorry, my words are all mixed up, y'all. Um, but yeah, I just talk about some experiences that I've discovered recently. Um, but anyways, let's get back to this painting. So this painting is actually some clouds. Um, it's like a study from John Constable, his clouds in one of his paintings. I I don't know, I just really love the, the painting and I, I just felt like I needed to paint it. I've been wanting to paint and so, that's what I decided to do, obviously. And so for my underpainting, I'm using burnt sienna and white. And, um, gosh, I was going to say something else. Oh, I'm using it in acrylic paint because um, acrylic paint dries faster. And so that's, that's why by the end of the day, I work on it again with my oil paint. Or the next day, honestly. <laughs> I I filmed this around a few days. So, oh my gosh, you can see my dog in the background. He's so cute. Okay, focus Ashley. Okay, so I'm working on... So this painting was also interesting to work on because I, I kind of used a negative painting way um, because the clouds are so cloudy because <laughs> the clouds are so cloudy that the sky does peek through here and there. And so I use that as my guideline. And I kind of wish I, obviously, as I said before, I wish that I did a little more detail for the, for the clouds and stuff. And so anyways, I'm working on my next one, um, which I scrapped this one as well. But, you know, it is, it is important to get your, get, when you're feeling creative to paint, it doesn't have to come out perfect. And, you know, you can scrap it. I mean, honestly, you're the artist. You can do, you know, whatever you want. But sometimes, sometimes it's just, you've got to scrap it. 
And I usually, this is so funny because I remember working in college on my paintings and I've only scrapped one painting. And um, I only painted over one painting. And I was pretty smart about it too because it was right before spring break. And so I was able to work on this painting during spring break. Now I'm doing a little skip through and, or not skip through, but I'm working in my sketchbook a little bit. Um, and it's funny too, cause this page didn't come out the way I wanted it to either. This must be the next day, I bet. Um, but anyways, yeah, this page didn't come out right. And I am, I'm about to film a video on working on this page. And I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around and it's gonna be great. But anyways, I wanted to include this in here because it is a vlog, you know, and I'm working on different things in the video. So I just felt like it was important to include. Also, I'm just, I'm playing around with different videos and things. And I probably shouldn't be saying this because y'all are here to watch the video, not listen to me talk about videos. But I will learn, I'm getting there. But anyways, I'm working on this house and I don't know, I just had, I had this idea to do, you know, I, I'm on Pinterest a lot, so I pin a lot of things. And so I see a lot of things and I want to be other things and it just doesn't work out because <laughs> um, I need more practice. Um, so anyways, but yeah, I, I probably would have just let this page be. But I do, I do want to go back and play with it a bit just because, um, you know, doing new stuff is important. And um, plus I, I'm almost done with the sketchbook. So it's, it's smart to work through the pages that I'm working on. But anyways, yeah, I'm just working on this house, this crappy house. <laughs> but. Just working on it, and I probably should have done it in pencil and then go back on ink. It's you know you follow so many people and you want to you want to be like them, but I mean you just need more practice. Practice makes perfect. So, so talking about practice makes perfect. I do have a few pieces in my shop. Um, they're digital downloads and so if you want to check out some of my art pieces you can check the description below to my art shop i have one on etsy and on shopify anyways in today's video i'm going to be working on um these two small paintings and i have this painting out right here because i just want to chat a bit about the the problem i guess you could say it's a problem that well i've experienced this problem and i'm sure other graduate art art students maybe feel this problem too but i recently graduated last december and um i realized the decline in my work ethnic 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 in my um my work schedule kind of thing. So when I was in school, I was working on paintings like left and right. I did two 16 by 20. This is a 16 by 20. I did two of them at the same time, finished them um, in a few weeks for class. And I mean, I worked on a lot of stuff, but it seemed that once that I had a show in um, December, which I did two pieces for, and it was for like the Italy thing. And I worked on those pretty, I got those done pretty quickly. And it's, it's funny because after that, everything just kind of like, just went down. So like my worth ethic, like everything, I was more focusing more on like the business side of art rather than focusing on my art. And so lately I've been trying to fix this and been trying to work on my art more. And so anyways, I started this painting um, a couple weeks ago, 
because I've been reading a book and I just got so inspired by the book that I just, I needed to paint something flowery. And then I also started a painting, it's on, on the other side of the room, of um, a landscape. And um, this is more of like a study, but as you can see, it's unfinished because I just, I think I was focused on other stuff. I don't think it was the business side. Um, well, kind of, because I've been working on my videos more. If y'all have been watching, you've noticed that I've been uploading more. But I, I haven't worked on this piece in a while. And I've been more focusing on my sketchbook, which is probably why it's almost done. And so, um, anyways, today is Saturday, and I was like, you know what? What the heck? I'm gonna work on my paintings. And so, anyways, I think it's very important as an artist or as any kind of creative that you need to, you know, cut out time to work on your stuff. And I actually haven't been doing that. I've been, I've been delegating, or not delegating, but I've been working on my sketchbook every morning, but I really haven't been working on my paintings every day. And so I think that needs to change. But... Um, anyways, I just wanted to do a little intro because I just felt like this needs to be said. Like, I feel like this happens to everyone. And what's crazy is that I'm like one of those people who, when I was in college, I just absolutely loved creating. I absolutely loved learning. And so I was, I was working hard, like, on everything that I did. And, um, and then, you know, I graduate and then I come home and not really doing anything or not pushing myself as much as I did. If you hear a dog, that's my dog. Um, but anyways, I haven't been pushing myself as much as I should. And so that's why I did this flower study. And uh, so I'm gonna work on this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the footage in with this video because I'm gonna be working on some um, these little um, landscape studies, but I will be working on this today. And so I'm super excited because I also kind of messed up on this too. And so it's going to take more layers than I anticipated. But I'm really excited to see the process and the end result because I really miss painting like this. I really miss playing with my oils and things. And so anyways, let's get started. So what's really funny is the previous clip, I said I was going to work on this painting, the flower painting, but I did not do that. I did it in the next couple days though, but you know, I want to structure my time wisely. And so working on these pieces today, um, I decided to wait and work on it later. Um, but. Anyways, yeah, I'm just working on these pieces and, you know, as I said before, these are the pieces that I, I didn't quite finish, that I basically wiped it away. And, um, yeah, I, you know, sometimes you just gotta do that, you know, and it's okay. There's no, there's no, there's no perfect way to paint. And sometimes... You know, it happens, and that's okay. It really is okay. So I'm just working on this scene from Italy, and um, I can see right off the back that I, I mixed the colors a little too blue. I should have mixed them more gray. Um, and that, that's another problem I'm starting to find with working on these kind of pieces, is that I don't have the right colors. Or I feel like I don't have the right colors because with my original oil paint, so I'm using my water mixables here. But with my original oil paint, I had all these colors that I collected. And, you know, they're Winsor & Newton too. And I just don't, I haven't found those colors in the water mixable collection yet. Um, I probably should pick up some colors because a Payne's gray is really good for gray. Um, lately I've just been mixing ultramarine blue and burnt umber to make my gray. And if I add more blue to it, then the color's more blue. And if I add more 
burnt umber, the color is more muted. And sometimes it works, but I should probably look into that. Oh, see, and I just um, wiped it away because I didn't like the way it looked. Plus, when you're working on something smaller, because this is a 5 by 7 it's a little harder to really get the colors, you know, paint the way you want to paint. Because obviously when I'm painting this, it's been a while because I've been, I've been neglecting my painting. And so, I prob and I probably should have been a little less heavy with my paint. Um... There's a lot of things I probably could have done differently, but that is okay. Everything's okay. So anyways, I'm just working on this scene from Italy and, um, so I'm just working on the cloud here and I'm wiping it away. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe y'all. Um, Anyways, I'm wiping it away and I'm starting anew. I'm working on this piece. As you can see in the left corner, that is my reference of the John Constable painting. Um, yeah, I, I probably should have gone bigger with this one too. But the only problem is, is I've packed all my bigger canvases. And that's a problem I'm starting to realize. Probably affects me more than I wish it did. And... Um, but I'm trying, that's all that matters. So anyways, I'm just painting the clouds here. And um, yeah, I'm going in darker in the areas that look darker to me. And, and then I'm going lighter in the lighter areas. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's weird looking back on these two paintings that I've been working on and then wiped away because they didn't work out. It's just itching me to paint it. <laughs> I'm just watching myself paint. Yeah, that color's a little too gray. I'm critiquing myself. <laughs> Gosh, well, I need to get darker in that little area. Um, yeah, and mixing colors have a huge thing with it too. That you've got to mix the right colors, and um, and so that's why I should probably look for other colors. In the collection you know maybe I'll do this painting again and do it bigger and show y'all what what I'm really doing or really practice like that's another thing is practice makes perfect and so even though this turned out crap I still learn from it because I'm looking back and I'm learning from it you know every piece every critique you do you learn you learn more and I feel like this it's very valuable as an artist, you know, to learn and practice. So I hope, you know, if you're an artist out there, um, I hope that you do little studies like this and really, you know, learn your, learn your medium. Even if you already know your medium and you already learned it, you know, you can always learn more. Ooh, and that color is too green. I think I realized that. Um, no, I did not. Okay. Well, anyways, I just want to thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.